perform your little rituals. See yourself as a shaman or medicine man who needs to dance and sing to get the healing started. Make up a ritual that is yours and yours alone, a ritual that will be your own shortcut to self-motivation. As you read through these various ways to motivate yourself, you might have noticed that action is often the key. Doing something is what leads to doing something. It's a law of the universe, an object in motion stays in motion. The great basketball player Jack Twyman used to begin each practice session by getting to the court early and taking 200 shots at the basket. It always had to be 200 shots, which he counted out, and it didn't matter if he already felt tuned up after 20 or 30 shots. He had to shoot 200? It was his ritual, and it always got him into a state of self-motivation for the rest of the practice session or game. My friend Fred Knipe, now an Emmy award-winning television writer and comedian, does something he calls driving for ideas. When he has a major creative project to accomplish, he gets in his car and drives around the desert near Tucson until ideas begin to come to him. His theory is that the act of driving gives the anxious, logical left side of his brain something to do so the right side of his brain can be freed up to suggest ideas. It's like giving your child some toys to play with so you can read the evening email on your computer. In his book about songwriting, Write from the Heart, John Stewart writes about composer and arranger Glenn Gould, who had a ritual for finding a new melody or musical idea when he seemed to be stuck and nothing was coming. He'd turn on two or three radios at the same time, all to different stations. He'd sit and compose his own music while listening to music on the three radios. This would short-circuit his conscious mind and free up the creative subconscious. It would overload the left side of his brain so the right could open up and create without judgment. My own ritual for jump-starting self-motivation is walking. Many times in my life I have had a problem that seemed too overwhelming to do anything about, and my ritual is to take the problem out for a long, long walk. Sometimes I won't come back for hours. But time and again during the course of my walk something comes out of nowhere, some idea for an action that will quickly solve the problem. One of the reasons I think this ritual works for me is that a ritual is action. Starting a ritual is taking an action that leads toward finding the solution. The dancing medicine man is already doing something. Make up little rituals for yourself that will act as self-starters. They will have you in action before you feel like getting into action. Rituals always override your built-in hesitation so that you can get yourself motivated in a predictable, controllable way. If you are not a writer or painter or poet, you might be thinking right now that this does not apply to you. But that's what I would call the creative fallacy. In fact, your entire life is yours to create. There are no creative professions that stand apart from others, like an exclusive club. Martin Luther King Jr. used to say, be an artist at whatever you do. Even if you are a street sweeper, be the Michelangelo of street sweepers. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.